Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and this is Nova, and welcome back to Pal's Play Wind Waker. Uh, in the last video, I... <laughs> we set sail for the Forsaken Fortress, and then I got caught. <laughs> you got captured. Right in the first spotlight. If you missed last episode, go back and watch it, because it's actually, it's, it's pretty funny how noobish I was. But, in my defense, it ended up working out rather well, as we got our, the first heart piece of the game... And we got the compass, and... The dungeon map. The dungeon map. And, to add a fourth and here, we're right next to one of the spotlights we need to take out. That is another mechanic of this of this area. The spotlights are guarding the way to um, Ariel. If you walk into them, you'll get captured and put in jail, and you need to get right through there, right past that one. So really, this is the mandatory spotlight to take out. So I accidentally took us here. So it works out. It really does. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm not going to let you forget your, you walking into the mini blend trap. That was pr a pretty big blunder, though. <laughs> so we will take out this spotlight and that middle one and leave that one alone because it's not an issue. Yeah. Uh, but first, I want to start off the episode by trying out the hoi pear that we got. Can you try it? Yeah, no, it there's no work. seagulls. You can only use them when there are seagulls nearby. Because that makes sense. Um, seagulls will come by and take the pair, and then you can control the seagull. We never really talked about that, but that's what they do. And it's actually pretty useful, because you could ta use the seagull to take rupees, to get all this different stuff. Or explore areas you can't get to yet. Yeah, there are a couple secrets in the game that it's mandatory to have the goals for, so it's actually pretty cool. Okay, Nova, where are we going? Right up there to the first spotlight. But first, our phone will ring. Listen up, Link. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you slay the monster, m then just maybe it'll shut off the uh, or yeah, it'll shut the spotlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if I could make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick up its weapon with A. But that's just me. What'll you do? Well, we really don't have any other option but to do what she says. Sadly, they, there's no shield bash in this. So, or head bash. I mean, think about how big Link's head is. It would probably be a pretty deadly weapon. <laughs> like, look at that. It's it's about the size of his torso. We could have thrown that at the guy, but okay. Um, but yeah, the monster she's referring to is a Bokoblin, which is a staple of the Zelda series. Or at least the 3D Zelda games. I'm trying to think if there are any Bokoblins in 2D Zeldas. Were there any in Minish Cap? No. I'm pretty sure this is just a 3D Zelda thing, and they weren't added until this game. There okay. we go. So good job giving him a weapon. And now we'll kill him. And while Nova does this, all she has to do is shield and stuff will happen. I would like to talk about the heart pieces, because we got one last episode, but I was so preoccupied with not dying that I didn't explain what 100% means for this Let's Play. Um, now that we've gotten a heart piece and I showed a text box on screen, I'm doing the same things that I'm going that I did in Okam. Where is he going? That I did in Okami. I'm, I made annotation videos. They're actually I haven't released them yet, so that's an issue. You might want to pick that up. You're getting beat up. You can't pick it up while you're targeting. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to be linking every moment where we get a heart piece in the annotations videos for people using Ooh. for future reference. Nova, would you explain what this is? Spoilers? No. Okay. Uh, these little collectibles do you no good for most of the game until you meet a... Person. A character at a certain island. And, and it, help, it helps you in your quest at one point. So basically it's a quest item for later. Yes. So keep your eyes out... F oh, keep your eyes open for them and get them when you find them because you'll need them later. Yeah. So Nova and I talked about what we were going to do, and even though I blundered last time, it works out. Because what we're going to do is just jump down here, go to the beginning, since if you go to the beginning, it will lead you to a spotlight! No! Oh. Skill. Nova's in control, by the way. <laughs> that was just me reacting. But yeah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Point out how do you get here, because... Uh, we skipped a portion. Yeah, so, uh, this is where you start at the Forsaken Fortress, and then just get in a barrel, sneak all the way up those stairs, and The spotlights here. can look at you if you're in the barrel not moving. 
So that's it's perfectly fine to do that, but it's it's actually pretty easy to get stuck. Uh, what is that ladder? I don't remember that ladder. Yeah, that's not the one we need to take out. No, so no, 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 no. Dude, that's fine. Take it out anyway. Why not? Okay. We're here. It won't take long. Just drop by. And I mean, I suppose we could show, even though we know how to play the game, we know that this isn't mandatory. We could take it out because there are people who are watching who have probably not played the game. And yeah. Speaking of which, uh, one of the viewers I I have chatted with, um, he's currently playing through the HD version of this game, and I found that out after I'd already planned the Let's Play. I was like, ooh, because typically. I, I like to check other channels, popular channels, to make sure that they're not doing the same game I'd like to play, because otherwise I'm taking away from their views and they're taking away from mine. And in this case, um, yeah, there's a conflict there, so sorry. You know who you are. That was my bad, but at least we're doing two different versions of the game. Okay, so the ladder to get to this middle spotlight isn't up that hill, so I think we need to go through this room right here. You think. You think. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, just going by my natural Oh, this is right by the direction. prison. The prison that I was locked in. Yeah, you went through the wrong door. Well, I was... Well, I had to get the heart piece. Let's just be honest, you were lost. I saw the heart piece, though. I knew that it was there. It's all under control. I, I've played this game See? more times than you can... Oh, it's right there. Wow. Trust me. Good, good job, Nova. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious that she's played the game more than I have. Yeah, it. I completed it first, and then I had to convince you to try and complete it. You had to, you had to tug my tug my arm. I had to pull your teeth. That's the term. <laughs> I was like, tug my arm. What? You had to pull my teeth to do it, and yeah. Ah. Uh, I like how every time. <laughs> Every time he hits you, he yells, aha. Like, oh, I found you. Good job. <laughs> You're throw it at him, kill him. Oh, it didn't. Oh, sorry. Where'd it go? Oh, there's one over here. Also, I love how if you just walk off out of his sight, he forgets all about your existence. Okay, throw it, kill him. Really? Throw it. What are you doing? Uh, what? What are you Did doing? Did I drop it? I didn't see. What are you doing? You dropped it. That is weird. What? <sighs> you know, half the time, I know, I'm like, oh man, so Nova's played this game. She knows how to do. And then the other times, I'm <laughs> just thinking. The A button doesn't drop it, though, so what on earth happened? I think you used your shield, and you can't shield while it's out. Where okay. does that ladder go to? That's where I just came up. Oh, it is? Pal, pay attention. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh... So there's nothing else we have to do. We can just go straight to. So we can just take a left the and then follow that, right? Take a left, left. Wait. Left. Wait. Let me look first. Um, left. Yeah, we'll go. Left, left. left. Just and, go up there. Uh, don't jump down there because that's not the way. What? That'll take you back one room. Oh. Uh huh. -huh. Stars above. I mean, that would be your first inclination, looking at that convenient little drop-off right there, but it will set you back one room. Man, we're getting through this faster than I kind of thought we would. You're welcome. Well, thing is, I thought during my episode that I wouldn't be able to do this. Wait, 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 there's a chest down here. I remember that much. Is there something worthwhile in it? Ten I think rupees. It's a rupee. And also, I kind of want to show off the statue. I don't like the statue. I want to show him off, because it's scary... As dirt. Dirt is terrifying. It is. It's there. It's everywhere. And you can't get rid of it. <laughs> it dirt is has been there the whole time. Where are we even going with this? I don't know. Yellow rupee. But also, this is scary as fire and as this thing. Oh my god. Oh my word. This was absolutely haunting when we were ten. It's terrifying. It's still terrifying. Don't... Don't demean it. It's still scary. The first time you see something like that, there's a statue you can't come to you life them? and start killing you. I think you can kill them later in the game. No. I thought you could. No. I thought there was some sort of exploit you could do that I discovered like recently. You shoot him with a bow and arrow and it just clinks like you shot rock. Spoilers. You spoiled that there's a bow and arrow. Oh my word, a bow and arrow in a Zelda game. Who I'm gonna have thunk? to bleep that out. It'll sound like you said, like, a really bad thing. 
<laughs> so you'll just be saying, oh yeah, when you get the bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of editing. Can you do something with that? Because it's Maybe. there. Why is it there? Man, the the cinematic for this game is just good. The camera angles, the uh, the sounds are just spot on. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister's being held, you'll have to find the room right below the tower. The path is the path to the tower begins in the rear of that room. You got that? Stop holding our hand, Tetra. That's another thing I kind of like about this game is that there is no navy or navi of of this game. Like there's no one following <laughs> you everywhere holding your hand. You can break it. Good job. That was fun. Why did they put that there? Maybe as a hint about the other the other crate. Maybe, but it's kind of obscure. Oh, I know. It's so you could uh, this room. get in some practice using the grab the grab button so you could push it around. Which Maybe. Which we will need later. Oh man, I hate this room because you can get stuck in it. Okay, now this room is at, is like the pinnacle of the mechanic of this dungeon, sneaking. You have to sneak past the two um, moblins, but the problem is, they is overlap. if those rats see you walking around, there, oh, <laughs> there is a chance that they will try and loot rupees from you. If that happens, the moblins will spot you straight away, and they'll take your lunch money. Not a fun time. Not a fun time at all. So Nova's gonna have to uh, get through this. Also, before you guys say in the comments, but the rats have an official name. They don't. They don't actually have an official name. They're literally just called rats. Do not press your luck, Nova. They're, I don't want to go to jail like you did. They're, you know what? I broke out. They can't, the man can't keep me down. Also, got you again. No, that, that's not what scared me. Is it just me, or does it look <laughs> like those lanterns have eyes? Yeah, it does. And... They look like... They actually, I'm not even sure. They actually don't have eyes, you're just seeing the whole, the other hole. But it's still creepy if you when you're a little child. You did it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Seems so much easier than I remember. My word. That's because I've got the timing down. Hey, hey, I did really well in my episode. I did. Don't lie. You're proud of me. MLG potential, man. Yeah. S <laughs> totally, MLG. Mountain Dew and Doritos every day. <laughs> Smoke Mountain Dew every day. Okay, get past this guy. I should watch speedrun in this game. It's probably glitchy, though. Okay, could you... They don't have very good eyesight. They really don't. It's probably because their lips are blocking it. Like, seriously, look at this guy. Oh. Mm. What? Well, their lanterns aren't that bright, so they probably can't see very well outside of their lantern's range. It might have some sort of scientific thing. Isn't it a thing that bulls or cows don't have that good of eyesight? That's rhinoceros. No, but I think it's bulls as well. No. And would you would agree that these these guys' closest real life relative would be the bull, right? Yeah. They have hooves. hooves. They also have pretty sweet tattoos. Okay, you can get past him, right? Uh, Wall. Wall. <sighs> okay, you can you can ditch the barrel. But I get like through. the barrel. Get through. Go on. You you don't. Need th okay, fine. You get the barrel. <laughs> I knew you would oblige me with the music. <laughs> the Benny Hill theme's so good. Okay, so we're out actually in the clear. We're going to complete the Forsaken Fortress this episode. Okay, I'll hurry. Wow. My word. Also, I'm kind of sad for something that's coming up. Uh, drop down. Drop down. Yeah, that's this is a thing. There's... What? Oh, there, there it is. is. There's, a, there's a crate down here that you can push, and you can drop it down right there. So, like... Say you. Oh uh, wait, wait, no, no, no! I'm pretty sure you have to push it in place, or else it'll despawn and reset. Really? I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Okay. It may not be a thing, but I have it in my mind, which means it's probably correct. Might as well. So, say for example, you died. That you die, or or you were me and got caught, or your pal and you fail to get across a ledge like that and fall into the lagoon. 
there's that. So you can go through one room and climb back up the ladder and cheat. And not have to go past the Moblins again. Yeah, so the, the game's being kind. Nintendo was kind. Nintendo's not kind now. Nintendo's heartless now. Stupid content ID. Sad anyway, uh, we're about to teach you guys a new term that most people, most gamers got this term from this game. And that is the sidle. Seriously, most people who use the term sidle, and if they were alive during this time, they got it from this because... <laughs> this is too much fun. You... <laughs> please move. <laughs> please put music to this later. What music? The hamster dance. No, I hate the hamster dance. I'm pretty sure everyone hates the hamster dance. Stupid song. If you used it right there when Link was making faces, everyone would love it. I'd use Darude. Darude Sandstorm. <laughs> I totally I totally would. On Automaton. Okay, let's let's move on without using video references. What are you doing? Just checking. <laughs> I had to check to make sure that <laughs> Come on. Arby's was still there. Seriously, I have no clue what you're checking. Wow, we're already there? It took one and a half episodes. One and a half. That's awesome. And this is slow. But we're through it. And we, we persevered. Let's go Let's go through the thing. And if I, my memory's Whoa. correct, this is where we claim our sword. Again. And it's floating. It's levitating in the air. Oh boy. Will he lose his sword? Wait, 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 wait. No! What? I wanted to see if you could kill him without the sword. Pretty sure he won't drop the Try it. Try it. I'm really curious. If he does, that would make my day. Um, one more. One more. One more hit. No, okay, he's not gonna lose it. Okay, I just had to check. Okay, kill his face now. Good, hold on, good hold block. On. Nice. Style points. Kill him. Kill him easily. Kill him with fire. How is he still alive? Because Finish him off. this is a trashy sword. Come here. Thank you. Nice, you killed him. And he got his face got impaled by spikes. Ugh. Worst way to go. Well, no, the worst way to go would be burying being buried alive while being impaled by spikes. That would stink. That while would be drowning. A bad day. While drowning and being set on fire. Ow. How do you come up with this? I, I've made a list of worst ways to die. Link is thinking of that list right now, and thinking of how he could practice them on Ariel. Oh. Little does she know his evil intentions. <laughs> but you know it couldn't be that easy. Since when has Link ever saved a girl at the beginning of the game? It always has to be a long, drawn-out task, accelerated by giant birds. And like a noob, he gets captured. Without even drawing a sword! He's still screaming. I suppose Orca never taught him how to fight giant birds. So, but it's really, this whole thing is Orca's fault. Link dying at the beginning of the game, and the game ending, is all Orca's fault. Okay, now that's the end of the game. Now we get to play as Snot Nose Boy. <laughs> he will be the new hero. <laughs> that bird has quite an arm or neck. It's rather impressive. We've mentioned before that when we were younger, we would play through to the second dungeon and then start over because we d couldn't defeat the boss. So for a very long time, we d had no idea who that figure. robed figure was. And Link! It was really annoying. Link, I'm your father. 
Wake up, Link. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Link. The sky. It's blue. I'm in a boat. Well, have you come to your senses yet? You are so surprising- you are surprisingly dull-witted. Oh no! <laughs> Tetra spiked my drink again. <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it that can, who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Even though I have horns. Link. I've been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. Creeper. <laughs> no, he just he just knows how to hack into Link's computer. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands the monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the island or land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that the Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Funny thing about that cutscene is that it is in three Zelda games. Hmm. It's in Ocarina of Time, Toilet Princess, and this. Hmm. Spoilers for those games, but <laughs> they've been out for ten years now, so... Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yeah, I, because I didn't understand a word you just said. And will you do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do, and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone what little strength you possess. Ouch. Oh, come on, man. I, I turned 11 yesterday. <laughs> the key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Not really. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit. But although I am indeed a, a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. Here's my question. How was he following us? He used the cruise button the entire way. How? Like, how could he catch up with a pirate ship? Plot hole. Hmm. Press A. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask th this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sail must come first, do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. But this is a video game. <laughs> Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Okay, do you, do you want some food? It's a game, great. so we have an infinite amount of time with which we can kill, kill pigs, pigs or torture the island folk. <laughs> that, that was his serious walk. <laughs> Windfall Island, the land of possibilities and flowers to cut off. Cut them off. And now we will cut off the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and that is going to be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like, and if you didn't enjoy it, then leave a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. And... I release new episodes of Wind Waker Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And Nova and I will see you guys for the next next video. 
You, you, you called the King of Red Lions a creeper. Now you're creeping on <laughs> two-year-old girls. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm a land shark. Dun 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 Success. Oh, this what? Is, yeah, this is the one that makes the puff. Out oh that end. <laughs> <laughs> he can just go away. Pigs are unique. Pigs are unique, kids. 